thank you for joining us tonight for First Coast News at 11. I'm Heather Crawford. Anthony Austin has the night off. As the beaches get busier and busier with people visiting for spring break or coming soon for summer vacation, safety is top of mind. In a new study, ranked Nassau County is one of the counties, uh, one of the country's most dangerous beaches in the U.S. when it comes to people having to be rescued from the water. Riley Phillips is breaking down the data for us and sharing what beachgoers need to know to stay safe. The study was done by a Connecticut law firm ranking the most dangerous beaches across the country by the number of rescues per 100,000 people over the last 10 years. Nassau County ranked fifth most dangerous, but I spoke with the lieutenant of the Fernandina Beach Ocean Rescue, who tells me the numbers in the study are a little misleading, and Jacksonville Beach Ocean Rescue conducts more rescues every year. According to data from the U.S. Life Saving Association, which was used by Connecticut trial firm to conduct this study, Fernandina Beach Ocean Rescue made close to 600 rescues since 2013. But looking at the same data for Jacksonville Beach, where twice as many people visited, Ocean Rescue there made close to 1,200 rescues since 2013. And that number is higher, according to data compiled by Jacksonville Beach Ocean Rescue. Still, the study ranks Nassau County fifth dangerous with 95 rescues per 100,000 people. Duval County did not make the list. Maxwell Lervanian with Jack's Beach Ocean Rescue says it's too soon to tell how this year's numbers will compare to years past, but they already had a busy spring break. In the month of March, we have had nine water rescues, uh, most of it's correlating to the start of the spring break season. Uh, seeing a lot of visitors and beachgoers going into the water that aren't used to going into the ocean in general. Irvanian says they have seen an increase in rip current rescues, which they attribute to a lack of knowledge and experience. We definitely have seen an increase in rip current rescues uh, within the last couple of years, but we uh, correlate that directly to persons not being able to swim appropriately or bathers and beachgoers not being the strongest swimmer or unable to identify the danger uh, in the ocean. Despite the difference in the data between the beaches, the message from Ocean Rescue remains the same. Stay aware in the water. Irvanian says their most common water rescue incident is people who think they're stronger swimmers than they really are. What occurs is you have people who think they're strong swimmers or they, you know, they can get by swimming in a pool no problem. Uh, but when they come into the ocean, they need to realize that they may not always touch. And if you are planning to come out here with your family, Jacksonville Beach Ocean Rescue also recommends making sure your kids know which street entrance you're closest to and to tell a lifeguard if they do get separated. In Jacksonville Beach, Riley Phillips, First Coast News on your side.